Brands who get in early will be preferable. They'll be more likely to be recommended when someone says, oh, I need a financial advisor or I need toothpaste, whatever the brand is. It has to start now though, because if you come late, you're late to the game. It's like, oh, let's start a Facebook or a YouTube channel today, good luck. You have to go in 10 years ago. Think about innovation, I want to talk about the space shuttle. The solid rocket boosters on space shuttles are actually designed by a company in Utah, and they are assembled in Utah. So they have to get these massive things from Utah to Florida. And the only way to do that is by train, when most of the trails were cut by horse-drawn carriages and chariots. And so we find out that the size of the solid rocket boosters is determined by the size of two horses' ass. Some of the most advanced and powerful technology that humans have ever created is still a slave to a dominant pattern. We are currently in what I call the tap, type, and swipe era. In about 2007, with the release of the first generation iPhone, that's when this began. This era is ending soon and we're entering a new era. We are changing the way that we compute. We have been in computeries for decades, whether that was punch cards, ones and zeros, text, typing. And when you move into voice, we're actually using a human language for the first time ever. It's a true paradigm shift, and we are at the very beginning of it. All marketing is about communication. At its crux, that's really what we're doing here. We're just finding new channels and new ways to do that. There were so many businesses that we thought would be around forever, and because they didn't embrace new technology, somebody ate their lunch. We know that smart speakers are the fastest growing consumer technology of all time. It's because it's finally a natural human language and there's no barrier to entry. It's accessible widely, everybody can use it, and there's no learning curve. After being in marketing for over a decade, I had seen a lot of tools come and go, but voice was something different. And when I saw this start to catch on 2014, 2015 with the release of that first Amazon Echo, I knew that this was different. And I started to research it and learn about it and I got so passionate and excited about it. And one of the reasons that I talk about emerging technology is that it's an exciting message to share with other businesses, other marketers. The clients that I've consulted with on marketing strategies that have focused on voice have enjoyed being early adopters, being first in their industry, and the results are obvious. Most of them are ranking on page one for their top search terms and keywords with voice assistance, or they are the top recommended search result when it's a spoken search. Having that first mover advantage is really about learning. The data, the iteration, the knowledge that you get from being first in that even first year of finding out what are your customers asking for, what do they want to talk about, is huge. And that applies to the rest of your business. If I have a client and they're like, what do I just start with? Here's what I would tell them. The first thing, obviously, is voice search. If 30% of searches are done by voice next year, have you actually figured out what are the top ways somebody looks for my product or service or brand if they're speaking their search versus typing it? Sonic branding matters because as we go to a voice first world, your visual brand identity, like the packaging, the look and feel, the color palette, the website, it matters less and less. Show of hands, who here has a flash briefing that you host or create? Okay, that's what I thought. It's Alexa's native news feature. There are over 750,000 podcasts out there, but there are only 10,000 flash briefings. For every 75 podcasts, there's one flash briefing. Why would you go compete where it's so crowded? There's this blue ocean over here. One of the reasons that I speak is I like to move people to action and share my enthusiasm and passion for things that make the world a little better. I think that if we look at emerging technology as a platform that lets us connect, which is the basis of being human, we can move these ideas in a direction that really benefits all of us, both businesses and consumers.